Number one, the movable wax seal. The use of wax seals has definitely gone beyond just sealing envelopes. Here is how you can create a movable wax seal in your scrapbook pages, cards, and gifts. Number two, the washi tape wreath. I just discovered the washi tape shop and they gifted me these beautiful washi tapes, but I had no clue on how to use the wreath washi designs until now. Oh my goodness, their wreath designs are the perfect size for your one inch wax seal stamps. And if you decide to purchase their products, make sure you put Christine ML10 in the promo code to get 10% off. I'll put a link in the description box below. Number three, the scrapbook journaling on recipe cards. If you want to shake it up a bit and try a new way of scrapbook journaling, then purchase one of these acrylic recipe boxes. Embellish blank recipe cards or index cards, and instead of writing your favorite recipes, place tabs like these on the cards and file away your memories, thoughts, and feelings. You can even file away 4x6 photos in between in this acrylic recipe box. This has been my new way of cataloging memories. I used the paper line from the blush collection that was specifically designed for these recipe boxes. If you'd like to check it out, I'll put a link to this paper line in the description box below too. Number four, the elegant envelope. Now you've probably seen this technique, but I needed to showcase this one because it is the bomb when it comes to DIY envelopes. Don't have any envelopes lying around for your four by six inch cards that you want to give to a friend? Then use this technique to make an envelope out of an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. Number five, the washer string closure. I'm sure you've all seen this and you know what? I had to showcase this one because it is my go-to and it's easy, it's simple, and it's a really great elegant closure for your envelopes. By the way, if you are liking the information you're getting, could you do me a favor and stamp that like button so it could spread to the rest of your crafting community? I would really appreciate it and your crafting community would really appreciate it too. And if you are interested in more tips and tricks, then make sure you hit that subscribe button too, so that you won't miss any of my other videos. Number six, the scissor stamp technique. I love adding stamps to my paper lines, but the issue arises when it comes to cutting these up. Rarely do stamp punches or dies fit perfectly around the stamp. So here is the next best option.
Number seven, visual clusters. Just like adding jewelry to your wrist, visual clustering to embellish your scrapbook journals is the way to go. Layer, layer, and layer to create visual interest to your projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more quick tips and tricks to add to your scrapbooking and your creative projects, then make sure you check out these videos here. Take care and we'll see you in those videos. Bye.